Welcome to Marquee Backstage from the Lodge at Thunder Sound Studios. I'm your host, Julie Milam. This week, we are going behind the scenes with a singer, songwriter, dancer, actress, and all around beautiful girl. This is Alyssa JC. It was called an accident or divine intervention. I had been a hip hop dancer and working on choreography, dancing the Super Bowl, thinking I'd be a dancer my whole life. Moved to Los Angeles to teach and started teaching singers to how to move on stage freely. And some of my coworkers heard me singing to myself one night and forced me to do karaoke. And that is how my entire career started. I got off stage and I went back to the tables I, were, I was waiting on. And every single one of them said the same thing about verbatim. Where can we see your next show? Where can we buy a CD? <laughs> and I almost, I didn't laugh in their faces because that's just rude, that's rude. But I was astonished because I'd never sung before, never written a song, and I was 23 at the time. So after a year, I got addicted, and I sang at least once a week for a year, and I finally, about a year into it, just listened to the screaming signs of the universe and decided at 24 years old, having never written a song or played an instrument, I would pursue music wholeheartedly and nothing could stop me from that point. Gave up just about everything. Phoned off to pull up chasing my dream. To me, it was obvious and no contest, but they don't understand why I left. In a ceiling city, it only goes so far. I'm tired of Us free. I called the only producer I knew in Los Angeles and I said, I know you know me as Alyssa JC, the choreographer, but I think I'm supposed to sing. Can you record me? And I remember his response like it happened a few minutes ago. He goes, Do you have any songs? And I'm oh, like, I have to have songs. That's a thing? Yeah, <laughs> like, shoot. So I furiously started writing songs and I was going to school full time uh, in San Diego uh, to Cal State San Marcos. So what I did was go to school Monday through Thursday. Thursday night, I would drive to Los Angeles. I record my first three songs, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, drive back Sunday, do all my homework and do it again and again and again for three months until I recorded the Alyssa JC EP and released it. With this producer? With this producer. I took a risk, unafraid to fail. The last seven years of wind in my sails. I have everything and nothing, and no regrets. And they still can't understand why I left. No, they still don't understand.
A month before I started performing, my grandma passed away from Alzheimer's. And I made a promise to myself that if I could ever make enough to give back to a charity, that would be the one I would at least start with. shoulder to lean on any time when I'm in need you answer all my calls over and over even when it's just to talk about me you may never know how much you mean you put me first but I should leave and come in second at your worst You're better than I am at my best And I love you, I need you Living without you has become my biggest fear Things I wish I said when you were here So we know you for being the beautiful you. Tell us why blue. Um, I would love to know who knows me as the beautiful me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, why blue? I really like this question. It started just because I was a 16 year old who was really into the color. And when I turned 23, 24 and I started singing, um, I tried to think of what could set myself apart from all the other Burnett guitar playing singer songwriters and people had kind of started to already know me as the blue girl, a girl who wore a lot of blue. So I came up with the term bring the crew and wear your blue Yeah. and started wearing blue to my shows and a month before I started performing my grandma passed away from Alzheimer's and I made a promise to myself that if I could ever make enough to give back to a charity that would be the one I would at least start with. So I started associating donations with wearing the color blue. So if you brought the crew and wore your blue to my shows and you had to buy a ticket to come see me or you bought a CD, like a merch item, mm -hmm. I would donate $1 from that merch item or the ticket sales to the Alzheimer's Association. I don't think that I can count the times you saved me. You're a hero if a hero ever was. Beneath the blanket of your wings, I find my safety in a place where I know I'm always loved. You put me first, when I should leave and come in second at your worst. You're better than I am at my best, and I love you, I need you, living without you has become my biggest fear Things I wish I said when you were here She was married in a beautiful blue gown that she had given away, which I wish she hadn't, but one of my favorite photograph memories of her before I knew her was this white-haired, just gorgeous woman in this beautiful, like a baby blue meets teal long gown, and she's just stunning from the inside out. God, I think about her all the time. I'm so grateful that she was in my life. And I was there until the last about an hour right before she died. I left, I couldn't handle it. And since my brother and I are so close, I told my brother I needed to hear from him and no one else when she right. passed. So what do you think she is saying about your career now? I know she's really proud of me. I know she is because she saw me when I was growing up go from soccer to basketball to gymnastics to dance to like bouncing all over the place and I'm sure she'd be happy that I've been sticking with something for so long. And your support of the Alzheimer's Association. I really hope so, of course, yeah. <laughs> I just hope and pray that you're proud of what you see and as you're up there with the angels tell them save some room for me you put me first when i should leave and come in second at your worst you're better than i am at my best and i love you i need you living with
without you has become my biggest fear. Things I wish I said, all the things I could have said, things I wish I said when you You're getting at it. You want to know about singing on airplanes. I do okay. want to know about singing on airplanes. I'm like, well, we drive and we fly. Like, how oh, many I people have been on an airplane and had someone get up and. When I first moved from San Diego to Nashville, which was eight years ago, it was purely running writers' nights booking people, booking myself, putting myself on tour, networking a lot, and performing as much as I could. I performed, I think, 230 shows that year, which is the most I've ever done. Busy, busy. Yes, I am. And then the second year, uh, I was asked to start my own career coaching business because I had all these artists on a regular basis asking me, um, how did I pick Blue as a brand and get it to work for me? Uh, why is Alzheimer's my charity? And how did that start? And how am I opening for Bruno Mars? How am I touring? How am I seeing the national anthem? And all these questions, and I wanted to, I wanted to coach people, and it was suggested to me that I start my own career coaching business. So I did that the second year. The third year was touring all over the nation, and I started hosting uh, TV shows, such as what you're doing today. Uh, and then after that was a lot of public speaking and touring to Europe. So I toured Europe, and I went to Sweden and Ireland and Italy and Denmark, and I would do public speaking and performing. Uh, and then each year has been something a little bit different, and right now I'm, I'm acting and modeling. I got signed last year to two agencies. Amazing. One in Atlanta and one in Nashville, and I guess just kind of doing a combination now of a little bit of all those things. Love, 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 love is all, love is all you need, love, love. Love, love, love is all, love is all you need. Get the most out of life, take a breath, open your eyes, learn it, live it, pass it on, give it back before it's gone, celebrate who you are, love with I love your heart, let it go, set it free, love is all you ever need, love, love, love. Love is all, love is all you need. Love, 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 love. Love is all, love is all. So what's the one thing you would love to do and have not yet done? I need to get my music on TV and film Julie. We're working on it. <laughs> We're working on that today. Commercials. Um, I am on the radio uh, singing a jingle at the moment. That was Fantastic. My, Who's it for? Uh, Hermitage Lighting Company. Yes. We light up your life. Yes. Um, so that's, that's me. And I have my song, I Want It To Rain, on the radio in Florida. Fantastic. And I've had a lot of San Diego stations and some stations around the nation play, you know, a single here, a single there. But I really, really want to turn on the television and see my song in the background of a commercial, a Blue Jeep commercial or maybe a Pepsi <laughs> commercial. Anything to do with Blue Sharpies. Um, sponsorships needed. All sponsorships <clears throat> yeah. needed. Yeah, <laughs> wink, wink. This is the bright side, we all get one life, so I wanna make it the best it can be. Or what a timeline, it goes by, runs out eventually. I keep the love close by me, he's not trying wisely, never let a day go by, or I don't try to be the best that I could be, and not conforming puzzle piece, keep the peace and always take the question in front of me. Love everybody, my daddy and my mommy, taught me to be the light when no one can see, so I'll keep doing my best, be an example to the rest, and never rest until I get to where I wanna be. Sing, love, 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 love is all. You perform for people all over the world, but you have a very unique way of delivering that 
and one mode of transportation. <laughs> I see what you're getting at. <laughs> you want to know about singing on airplanes. I do okay. want to know about singing on airplanes. I'm like, well, we drive and we fly. Like, how oh, many I people have been on an airplane and had someone get up and sing? Because I have never experienced that and I fly quite a bit. I am a massive lover of the airline Southwest. I love Southwest Airlines so much. and. It's because of how they treat you. They're so different from anyone else and their seats are comfortable and uh, you know, the drinks are amazing. And anyway, they have a thing called Live at 35, which started about 11 years ago. And I just heard about it mm, five years ago, maybe four years ago for the first time. And I just, I talked to Southwest I'm like, hey, I'm a, I'm a singer, songwriter, and you might not have heard of me, but I know you guys do this Live at 35 thing. And, they heard my music and next thing I know, every single time I'm on a Southwest flight, which is now 18 times, I have sung my original music and a couple cover songs, but most original music for Live at 35. Every time you caught yourself Taking my breath away Well, you belong in With every song, there's a story. With every story, there's a life behind it. Join us next week to see who we discover on Marquee Backstage. There's no other way to put this. I'm leaving you tonight The strong only get stronger When their heart's not soaked in wine mm -hmm. And I face that I loved you Cause I like the look that you gave Every time you caught yourself Taking my breath away Well, you belong in a, a bottle I belong at sea And I know if I don't leave you now You're gonna end Drowning me mm -hmm. You can knock me down As many times as you want But I'll get up the next day As if it was never good enough And I faked that I loved you Cause I like the look that you gave It was almost desperation Like you needed to be saved Well you belong in a
Every time you, you caught me falling, man, I knew you'd let go one day. Yeah. Well, you'll be long enough about oh, oh, oh. I've Drowning me mm -hmm. And now drowning me mm -hmm. Oh, there's no other way To put this Hey, <laughs> Alisa, tell us about all your clothes change uh, well, today I decided to bring multiple outfits because I wanted to show everyone who's watching this that I have different facets to my performing personality. We are still friends to this day. He just texted me yesterday because he's wearing a big blue hat and he's like, Aww. thought you'd appreciate it. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? No, the, the wind doesn't want me to get out. Sorry. Uh, when I first moved from San Diego to Nashville, <laughs> am I allowed to say that? <laughs> So I can see what's actually in my frame, and then we can start putting things where they okay. potentially go. Nobody looking funny inside of this case. It's very, very wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Let's go. Come on, all my makeup and hair team and people that are with me today. Try not to look because it sounds like you're funny. <laughs> well, maybe I am. <laughs> you your, your Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Everybody's on your side. I, well, you know, not everybody, probably, <laughs> but everyone in my family, yes, and and maybe maybe you guys. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> us.